मेनी क्वेश्चन यू विल फाइंड ऑलरेडी बिन डिस्कस इन आर क्लासेस राइट सो जहां पर भी रेफरेंस रहेगा आई लेट यू नो यार इस ये पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन या एरिया हमने ऑलरेडी डिस्कस कर रखा है इन क्लास ओके हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू योजना आई एस दिस इज योर फैकल्टी फॉर जोग्राफी अक्षय गुरु टूडे आई एम हियर विथ यू दट इज द मोस्ट awaited discussion for geography optional paper 2 already for paper 1 we uh, did that particular video as well right we have that video on our channel right if you haven't gone through that video to ek bar wahan se jaakar ek bar video please dekh lena it just will be like say uh, like hardly for one and a half hour or more right so you you can have that video like in fast forward mode and just to complete that video first because you know paper 1 is very foundational subject okay paper 1 of geography you will find it is the very base of geography as a subject and take the knowledge then of paper 1 it gives you the paper 2 like for indian geography so different aspects of indian geography you will find they are discussed in paper 2 so just to answer well paper 2 i believe right you should have a clarity over the different topics as or the subject matter as well for the paper 1 okay so now <coughs> starting with the discussion of this paper 2 geography optional so first kind of observations from my side the paper 2 as such was on the same line that like as expected as such no uh, uh, you know a drastic change upsc like did in this particular examination the thing is just like usual pattern map based question like 2015 15, 15 wale question jo pattern hai remains the same even the difficulty levels of the question you will find more or less like on the same line like for last two or three years so on a very general basis on very broad basis i would say paper remains somehow on the same line so ab jaise hum paper discuss karte jayenge you will get to know further about right how we are supposed to deal with the questions right from which area that question has been asked as such and then how our way or approach it should be to tackle that particular uh, those particular questions sorry so now let me clear one thing over here in this discussion because hum uh, like as such we can discuss the whole of paper right it just because that is very uh, difficult task as such to do for because pura paper hum as it is like discuss nahi kar payenge like keeping all those model answers and those way right so what is the primary purpose of having the discussion it just to help you guys to have your idea about say how to approach those respective question what is the demand of question what is the uh, structure here that you are supposed to follow any kind of diagram that you supposed to add and say some value added material over there so what is our primary objective for today's discussion is simple right and like as pretty much expected ki hum try ye karenge ki jo discussion hoga wo question ko approach kaise karna that is what our the uh, you know like the primary objective as such to deal with so this particular discussion help i believe will help you to understand okay will help you to realize the real nature of upsc examination and i strongly believe at the end of this discussion you would be like hey, yes geography is absolutely like very uh, as such interesting as well and within your reach as well that is my task i believe ki aapko main wo us 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 particular area ko utna easy kar kar bata sakta hu like just like within that stipulated time or the time limit that we are having just for this discussion many questions you will find already been discussed in our classes right so jahan par bhi reference rahega i'll let you know here is ye particular question ya area humne already discuss kar rakha hai in class okay 
so without wasting a time now we'll start the discussion so first question as usual like that is of mandatory nature pretty much mandatory nature question 1a and locational base hai 10 locations have been given you have to locate say them and have 30 words of information on any domain political cultural historical uh, uh, or geographical perspective environmental perspective ecological whatever idea you are having about that particular location and you need to locate on the map provided to you so it is as simple uh, uh, seeing this area and i believe ye jo questions hote hain ye bahut matlab na you know ye bahut ek mark fetching questions hote hain ki yahan pe like in general you won't be getting like say from 20 marks like 12 13 14 15 but this particular question mein ya is particular jo uh, area hai yahan pe aapko you can have like having that potential ki aap jahan pe ek 12 14 tak bhi score kar sakte ho right so like 10 locations have been given and having their different context kuch uh, uh, geographical context hai some you will find in the current affairs maybe due to some political reason maybe due to some cultural reasons maybe due to some uh, like different activity so uh, natula that is uh, in the current affair, tri-junction between Tibet, uh, Sikkim, right, India and uh, that Bhutan wala region, okay. So, Natula, you have to just write about this 20-30 uh, as such a uh, words about this and locating as well on the map that is later I will show. Then, this Hutti region, it is a mining site in the Karnataka, Raichur district, famous for its gold mining potential with the rich reserves. Okay, so location further, then Ross Island, this was named by uh, Subhash Island as well. So, three islands where, uh, uh, say, the nomenclature has been changed, right, by the government of India in uh, 1819. So, just on that, then location Ross Island, located in the Andaman and Nicobar, and that is what Subhash Chandra Bose Dweep, that is what to be identified as. More, you will find in the state of Manipur, see, from uh, Manipur, oh, sorry, from Northeastern state, you will find three to four locations. Two to three locations at least you will find from northeastern location. So more, and that is what prelims may be more a question I more right. The, uh, India, Myanmar, Highland Trilateral Highway. So usi ka ye beginning point hai this more. Then Ramakpa says Ramakpa is basically in the Telangana, and that is as well like UNESCO's World Heritage Sites, and where like say the famous Ramakpa Lake or that temple is located, jo ke Recently, UNESCO has identified as data site. Then Namdafa, that is Arunachal Pradesh. See, see they go, bohad, I, I believe ki bohad the difficult locations nahi hai. And simultaneously, you are not supposed to write like very like in detail information about it. If you are having even a surfacial understanding about it, 30 words like name ko, right? So, and see, the kind of flexibility that is given to you. You can write 30 words in any domain. Any domain you are aware about that particular location, right? So, you have a simple sa, ek leverage. Hai. Nam Dafa National Park, it is the state of Arunachal Pradesh and declined, right? Sorry, declared in 18, 1983 and the famous for big cat species and pullog gibbon, right? So, just environment, but you have a general idea of the Sela Tunnel that is again in Arunachal Pradesh, 3000 meters to ensure like uh, elevation and like Guwahati and Tawang, and it is the largest violent tunnel in the world. Then, Ennor port, the eastern coastline, north of the Chennai, 18 20 km. Then Ramagundam, that is as well known as, say, in the state of Telangana, that is as well known as the Manchester of Telangana, right? Thermal Park Station is as well uh, located there. Then Betwa River, that is a tributary of Yamuna, that further uh, uh, gets merged into the river Ganga, okay? So in Madhya Pradesh, and then you have to write about and see how you are supposed to locate it on map as well. See, देखो जहाँ भी possible है, yes, you are supposed to locate all those locations. Four locations from northeast, one from Andaman Nicobar, and the rest five are basically from these regions. Okay, so the first question, twenty marks, and I believe it's like a low hanging fruits, right? And you guys are supposed to, supposed to tackle or say get maximum out of it okay so second question describe okay uh, distribution and economic significance of gondwana system of rocks in india so this question is basically from physical settings physical settings okay uh, you need to first have paper two physical settings and that is for 10 mark and simply about gondwana rock system so they go a simple introduction main body and conclusion that is what our approach to right uh, sir b i believe 
कि ये जो आपको स्ट्रक्चर दिया है मैंने बेस्ड ऑन दिस इफ यू आर गोइंग टू राइट लाइक से इन दोज वर्ड यू विल फाइंड एब्सोल्युटली गेटिंग गुड इनफ मार्क्स राइट मोर देन एवरेज मार्क्स फॉर शॉर्ट सो इंट्रोडक्शन स्टार्ट विद द गोंड वन रॉक सिस्टम द बेस्ट वे इज टू स्टार्ट विद द गोंड वन रॉक सिस्टम इटसेल्फ से गोंड वन रॉक सिस्टम्स आर लाइक से द जियोलॉजिकल रॉक स्ट्रक्चर्स और जियोलॉजिकल फॉर्मेशंस ड्यूरिंग द टाइम ऑफ गोंड वन पीरियड इन द अर्थ जियोलॉजिकल हिस्ट्री व्हेन इंडिया वाज कनेक्टेड विद द से लोरेशिया एंड देन स्टार्टेड टू ब्रेक अवे ओके और डिपार्ट अवे फ्रॉम दैट पर्टिकुलर लैंडमार्क एंड देन द डेवलपमेंट ओवर देयर lead to this gondwana rock system so what are their uh, like significance origin during mesozoic period distribution map you have to draw there compulsory right dekho geography optional mein geography ke answer karte hue kabhi bhi aapko map ka ko draw karna hai your answer say it should have it should have say the respective maps over there so economic significance iron 90% coal uh, sorry coal you will find India's 90% coal there, iron, <coughs> limestone, and like employment, industries, and growth pool, right? Connected with the growth pool theory of paper one, growth pool theory of regional development, right? So yes, absolutely connected with this, and the this is how you have addressed the demand of the question. What Gondwana rock system or the significance, economic significance of it? Iron है, coal है, limestone है. there uh, industrial development hai uh, iron and steel plants hai aluminium plants there and then employment generation so economic significance ho gaya and in the conclusion thus how gondwana rock system collectively contributes for overall economic activity or you can connect with the cultural significance for the apart from economic significance gondwana rock systems are equally important from culture political and all other development of uh, human aspects then yeah so first of all akbar i hope you guys are pretty much clear with second examine the role of indian earth observation satellite technology in enhancing weather forecasting and disaster management see question is asking you for first question had trade transportation and communication unit fifth paper 2 तो ट्रेड ट्रांसपोर्टेशन एंड कम्युनिकेशन एंड क्वेश्चन है ऑन ए अर्थ ऑब्जर्वेशन सैटेलाइट एंड दैट टू इन एरिया स्पेसिफिक वे डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट और वेदर फोरकास्टिंग सो फर्स्ट व्हाट यू हैव टू स्टार्ट विद द इंट्रोडक्शन स्टार्ट बाय डिफाइनिंग अर्थ ऑब्जर्वेशन सैटेलाइट टेकिंग पिक्चर्स रिमोट सेंसिंग एंड एनालिसिस इनसैट रिसोर्स सैट कार्टो सैट ओशन सैट राइट यू नीड टू मेंशन दोस एग्जांपल्स देयर एज वेल so this examples will help you right ke, to make your introduction complete jab tak aap example put in nahi karoge evaluator won't be having clear idea whether you are really aware about it because say earth observation satellite ye to aap general bhi naam se bhi explain kar doge wahan pe like earth observation satellites are simply those satellites which are right keep like say uh, uh, trying to capture the various different images from the earth surface just to understand the nature of the surface or landscape but in the absence of example you know it is very difficult for right this to understand examiner ki aapko wo clarity hai bhi ya nahi okay so in main body what explain their role in two aspect ek weather forecasting that is being asked and disaster management you can have separate or you can keep it in like that way so data about land ocean temperature movement of winds and weather weather forecasting temperature ke liye humidity ke liye moisture ke liye precipitation ke liye then a kind of climatic disasters if there are right and then disaster se fir you can connect with the real time update about like for cyclone before joy for cyclone fani for cyclone or like any like other cyclone you will find or maybe anti anti cyclones as well yeah koi tsunami alert warning system as well so then information diffusion that it as well help for helpful for the assessment of population risk and vulnerabilities it all then be helpful for disaster management process so how this earth observation satellites are or say technology is helping us for weather forecasting and disaster management this is what the way in conclusion you can simply conclude it like okay, the, this is how earth observation satellite technology help us to prevent like say uh, uh, impact of disaster uh, on the indian landmass right or maybe any other case right aise kar sakte ho ya apart from this there are other benefits of 
this earth observation or remote sensing technology okay so that's it then next see go through question guys discuss the impact of the national green tribunal act 2010 on forest conservation in so what is the question is asking for question is asking for a describe the national green tribunal act and its role in forest conservation dekho aap question ke demand itself pehle to uh, what you need to like in introduction itself the question he batara how to introduce pehle ngt define kar do act, right what it talks about and then the role of ngt act and forest conservation it's good to right the question read karte hue mind mein aana chahiye it's good to right have a case study for that matter agar aapke paas case study hai appreciable agar ngt tribunal hai matlab koi decisions honge verdicts honge to the name of verdict that is really appreciated so your answer will you know then like seems above average right if it has this many points so start by ngt and its objectives second explain the role of ngt in forest conservation so how ngt right pehle to ngt hum define kar diya right objectives of ngt act right it establish ngt and then forest conservation and then it make the india the third country having this ecological tribunal as well right just to pre, uh, just to uh, prevent judiciary okay the regular judiciary assets from environmental loads so in the next one how it played role in forest conservation see tribunal that it is a uh, uh, having a jurisdiction over on forest right act or forest act 1918 then preferred prevented deforestation then regulation of forest areas and protected reserves then ban over polluting and forest uh, say distracting projects like POSCO. POSCO, see examples be add here and over you can have cases or case study see the ngt postponed the posco steel plant which was viewed as a dramatic step in favor of the local communities and forest yeah example ho gaya iska case study hai see, how it plays a role in forest conservation they go in the uttarakhand flood case in 2013 the alaknanda hydropower corporation limited was compelled to compensate the petitioner here the ngt squarely relied on the polluter trace principle so forest conservation again that ngt believes in or it had ensured to think however but there are many limitations on the power of this ngt act to make sure the forest conservation because it can review like hardly those matters of like not beyond one year right then it has not any jurisdiction over on the forest right act further okay then biodiversity act forest right act say biodiversity act it does not have that uh, exclusive jurisdiction or the jurisdiction over and cases up to one year only and say basically appeal further lies to high courts and supreme court and that makes the matter worse that makes the matter furthermore delayed and hence you know say there is a need for say some uh, changes okay in the overall ngt act as well to make it more uh, you know strong tool to deal with see next question then second a to a so guys see examine the environmental challenges caused by solid waste in metropolitan regions of india and discuss the efforts to overcome it 20 marker as usual first question hai to so Question basically ye hai Indian urbanization, you can connect it with the urbanization. In syllabus, you will find that uh, population and settlement wala time. Take a settlement wala question hai, unit. Hai. So, question is asking you for solid waste metropolitan regions of India. See Delhi. अभी गाजीपुर वाला जो बर्निंग था या मुंबई में जो बर्निंग हुआ था या इन दी इन दी वेरियस पार्ट्स ऑफ महाराष्ट्र यू विल फाइंड देयर वाज लाइक ए वेरी एजिटेशन प्रोटेस्ट बाय लोकल्स अगेंस्ट दिस सॉलिड वेस्ट मिसमैनेजमेंट राइट तो बहुत सारे इश्यूज है एंड जस्ट यूपीएससी हैज फ्रेम दिस क्वेश्चन लाइक हाउ दिस एनवायरमेंटल चैलेंजेस आर हैविंग देयर रूट्स इन सॉलिड वेस्ट इन मेट्रोपॉलिटन रीजंस ऑफ इंडिया and discuss the efforts to overcome it overcome them so see 
इंट्रोडक्शन वॉट इंट्रोडक्शन इट शुड बी फर्स्ट एज यूजल इट गुड टू स्टार्ट विद द डेट आई बिलीव अगर इस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन में देखो अब वो क्वेश्चन पढ़कर आपको समझ आना चाहिए the what should be the best way to introduce with what should be the structure right structure for this particular answer and i would say like for this question data serves the purpose because see question is asking you for solid waste that lead to environmental challenge matlab ki solid waste ka jo koi problem hai wo environmental challenges ko lead kar raha it means ki yahan pe pehle solid waste ke data se start kar do don't define solid waste i believe ki solid waste define karna that is not uh, really a uh, very uh, good introduction to start with it's rather with the data like only 10% solid waste in our metro cities is what gets recycled so process it means the rest 90% it still remain okay still remain over in the same dumping yard or location and that leads to many environmental challenges now ab environmental challenge dekho geography optional ka paper hai now don't write in very you know very uh, very layman language right i would say layman in the sense ki wahan pe aise nahi write karna ki jaise aapko geography optional ka idea nahi hai gs ke answer mein aur aapke answer mein koi different lagna chahiye optional ke so what you are supposed to then what you have to write it in a way see it leads to resource depletion because see where don't waste the waste water that was the article that was in hindu right so even you are not supposed to waste solid waste you are supposed to use efficiently provided you should have that approach like in geography zelensky resources are not they are created so even solid waste is a kind of resource you should have technology you should have approach like by means of possibilism by means of like say uh, say some cultural determinism or cultural right changes that right? it should be transformed into some usable reusable resource as well so resource depletion even not resource depletion you will find that would lead to quantity and quality of resource uh, say deterioration right ke water pollution hai to kya ho raha quantity bhi aur quality dono bhi deteriorate ho raha air pollution ho raha hai to kya ho raha wohi ho raha due to solid waste then a it reduces the carrying capacity of the region of the ecosystem it then lead to bio accumulation and magnification migration and shifting of man environment relationship then impact on health and nutrition you will find that is somehow affected with so changes that it leads to now solutions question even if does not ask what efforts right say we have taken to overcome it there you need to write about solid waste management policy 2016 e waste management policy 2016 say some kind of now the composting method that we are looking for vertical farming we are looking for say promotion for dump yard and that management okay community participation bio decomposition right kuch naye new technology that you can look for just to make our metropolitan cities free of solid waste our cities should be like connected with the sdgs right sdg se connect karo urbanization our city it should be they should be like free of solid waste that have like they are must be like a sustainable cities right second b part and pretty much expected question i would say right matlab ye question it was basically ye question nahi hai matlab in the sense ki ye bahut predicted question tha 100% ispe question aana tha matlab aana hi tha right it just because 2023 has been declared as international years on uh, like years on millet and the reason being india had lots of thirst right even has now lots of thirst for this particular initiative and millets are pretty much natives too right gene pool center se start kar sakte ho agar geography ke core concept mein jana hai to gene pool center and you will find the india is again the gene pool for millets and varieties those varieties which are like introduction kya karoge introduction it is best to right so start with this kyunki its a context hi hai 100% i am telling you uski introduction yahi honi chahiye okay inter un has declared this year 2023 as international year on pulses sorry uh, millets then like millets are 
considered as nutri cereals and climate resistant why they are nutri cereals like question is asking for so write why they are nutri cereal they are not the see ye government of india ne naam change kiya iska pehle they are known to be as poor cereals poor cereals however just to change the approach and attitude to look towards this particular uh, like uh, food grains okay or nutrition rich diet nutri cereals is rakha hai cereals right so nutri cereals because say they enforce the advantages that grains over wheat and rice like you will find their mentions in yajur veda as well you will find say they are having like vitamin b12 help you to have a good digestion system improve your immunity power and it also like say improves your all element part right so this nutri cereals because they are having fibers and this fiber makes your health pretty much uh, again like say free of diseases as well so why nutri cereals then second part why climate resistance why climate resilient the reason being why climate resilient the reason being millet cultivation is environment friendly growing millet does not require extensive use of fertilizers right so ye cheez nahi lagegi water ki requirement zyada nahi hogi less less water requirement hai the climate change se comparatively come impact hai the soil conditions are not pretty much needed then you will find having more resistive power okay they are like the crops of drought prone region right even the Rajasthan, Haryana, Madhya Pradesh, Gujarat, you'll find these are mainly these millet producing states in India. And then you find that this climatic variability is that uh, is pretty much common over in this region. And still they grow there. That means they are climatic resilient crop. Okay, so it's good to draw a map of millet producing states in India, and then say millets. What are the constraints? and what are the opportunities what are the constraint and what are the opportunities of it you will find a see constraint kya hai millet production mein climate change yes climate resilient hai but still you will find climate change that the rate of climate change is leading to a lots of problems right then soil specific yeah soil specific kuch conditions hai market demand kam hai comparatively and then low level of awareness however opportunities there are like this millets are like with the burst of opportunities provided you should have that attitude and approach to look towards so it like means to increase farmers income endemic crops sustainable in nature like in india mein hi endemic ke to bahut zyada aapko variations nahi hai health conscious diet that promotes then easy for export then easy for mixed cuisine millet pizzas right then un 2023 as international year large untapped global market and then and then way forward trend conclusion it should include how to achieve this or how to capitalize those opportunities made available to you ye opportunities jo bani hai aapki how you are supposed to use those in like say real time or realize those in. so yes this is how this 20 marker question you are supposed to address it i hope ye jo aapko write kar kar diya hai maine introduction main body conclusion that is helping you a lot guys right it just because this explanation okay that it, it has taken lots of toll, toll of time for me right liya uh, hai but still i have given time for that matter kyunki i believe ki ye explanation ya ye jo structure hai that will help you to understand this fact ki aapko introduction main body conclusion aur baki approaches kaise deal karna hai examine the geostrategic significance of indian islands now question is asking for geo strategic significance so i would say that is of regional development and planning regional development and planning usme development of island territories that is what the sub unit or sub topic is there so how you are supposed to introduce this introduce with the island itself for india there are more than 1200 islands okay those are having some socio political and ecological significance body your body should like address the main demand geo strategic importance geo strategic importance kya hai that this coastline offers you like ez offers you this island offers you coastline this island offers you lots of resources they are like lying over on the sea lines of communication they are like 
दे आर लाइक ड्यूरिंग द कोर्स ऑफ एमरजेंसी मे सर्व एज लाइक द लॉन्चिंग पैड फॉर यूर व्हीकल्स ओके और एरोप्लेन्स और नेवल बेस एसल्फ तो दिस आइलैंड्स आर हैविंग लॉट्स ऑफ ए स्ट्रेटेजिक इंपॉर्टेंस चोक पॉइंट्स एज वेल तो दे आर लाइक ड्यूरिंग द कोर्स ऑफ डैमेज ड्यूरिंग द कोर्स ऑफ वॉर और मे बी सम एमरजेंसी दे कैन हैव ऑल दिस पॉसिबिलिटीज या तो इंडियन आइलैंड्स तो बहुत ज्यादा सिग्निफिकेंस है प्रोवाइडेड लाइक हाउ टू कैपिटलाइज दो सिग्निफिकेंस राइट कंक्लूजन यूर वे इट शुड बी दस वी नीड टू एंश्योर से पॉलिसीज एंड फॉर्मुलेशन इन सच ए वे दैट शुड लाइक यूटिलाइज जियो स्ट्रैटेजिक एंड अदर एडवांटेज ऑफर्ड बाय आईलैंड टू फुलस्ट पोटेंशियल और फुलस्ट कैपेबिलिटीज ऑफ दैट तो सेकेंड पार्ट नेक्स्ट मैप मस्ट बी देयर इंडिया में आइलैंड्स कहा है देयर यू नीड टू ड्रॉ मैप देन थर्ड ए ट्वेंटी मार्कर इंडियन फार्मा इंडस्ट्री हैज टू मूव फ्रॉम वॉल्यूम टू वैल्यू लीडरशिप टू कैप्चर ग्लोबल मार्केट ठीक नाउ द क्वेश्चन इज आस्किंग फॉर राइट पहले तो आपको पता होना चाहिए कि वॉल्यूम और वैल्यू ऑफ फार्मास्यूटिकल मार्केट क्या होता है See, India is known as pharmacy of the world, and sometimes it is as well known as pharmacy of the global south. India is the third largest volume product producer of pharmaceutical market. However, in terms of value, that India stands at 14th position, right? 14th position. So now, in introduction, it's good to start with. Okay, पहले ये बताओ कि India volume में uh, you know leader है, या क्योंकि question क्या बोल रहा है? Volume to value, you need to move for. तो वॉल्यूम में लीडर है बट वैल्यू में नहीं है राइट यू इन इंट्रोडक्शन यू नीड टू एड्रेस दिस फैक्ट एंड देन इन मेन बॉडी व्हाट यू विल फाइंड हाउ आर इंडिया अचीव वॉल्यूम लाइक इट शोज बाय 50 परसेंट वर्ल्ड जेनेटिक सप्लाई मोस्ट ऑफ एड एड्स ड्रग्स टू दर्ल्ड यू विल फाइंड बाय इंडिया फार्मसी ऑफ द ग्लोबल साउथ हाउ वेयर से इंडिया मस्ट लुक फॉर बिकॉज बिकॉज से इंडिया इज स्टिल नॉट हैविंग वेरी यू नो प्रोफिटेबल शेयर और इक्विटेबल शेयर इन द डेवलप्ड मार्केट ग्लोबल नॉट तो ग्लोबल लीडर अगर बनना है फार्मा मार्केट में इट नीड टू फोकस ऑन वैल्यू अलॉन्ग विद वॉल्यूम राइट तो जैसे अभी अभी इसका कंटेक्स क्या था अगर क्वेश्चन का यू विल लुक फॉर के अफ्रीका में कुछ डेथ हुए थे ड्यू टू इंडियन फार्मास्यूटिकल राइट और इंडियन सिरप एज वेल अफगानिस्तान में भी डेथ हुए थे सो द कंटेक्स ऑफ दिस इज वॉट वैल्यू इन देंस यू यू आर नॉट सपोज टू फोकस मेयरली ऑन वॉल्यूम ऑफ प्रोडक्शन अमाउंट क्वान्टिटी रैदर क्वालिटी ऑफ प्रोडक्शन सो हाई एंड डिसीज को कैसे डील कर रहे हो रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट क्या कर रहे हो वैल्यू क्या होती है वैल्यू क्या होती है इन फार्मास्यूटिकल मार्केट वैल्यू इट मीन्स द काइंड ऑफ यू नो रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट क्लिनिकल इफिशियंसी ऑफ यूअर्स कॉस्ट इफेक्टिवनेस रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट देन हाई एंड ड्रग्स एज वेल कैंसर है या कोई और भी जो डिफिकल्ट टू ट्रीट है एंड हैविंग हाई यू नो कॉस्ट ऑफ फार्मास्यूटिकल राइट मेडिसिन से वो सप्लाई देन एक्सेस एंड अप्रूवल एंड मार्केट अवेबिलिटी राइट मार्केट स्टैंडर्ड मार्केट रेगुलेशन स्टैंडर्ड ऑल दिस फॉर्म्स लाइक एलिमेंट्स ऑफ वैल्यू इन फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री तो वाई इंडिया शुड लुक फॉर देन वैल्यू क्यों करना चाहिए या अगर वैल्यू पे फोकस करेगा तो क्या होगा सी वाई वैल्यू मैटर्स फॉर इंडिया और इंडियन फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री बिकॉज से that to tap developed markets global north because we are still having say many untapped global market it just because ki we are not having that good enough value based reputation put in in terms right so obvious hai then it to provide affordable medicines to the domestic market as well because indians hai basically unhe bhi to domestic supply karna hai but wo value based ho many diseases are in india they are un, they are uncurable the reason being ki ek to diseases ye medicine unidentified hai ya many times ke medicines are not available or the, the medication is rather costly so that way to assure health for all sdg or right constitution there why value matters then increase the size and prospects of pharma industry why value matter due to this fact then then how to achieve value yes par dekho ab wahan pe kuch aapko wo bhi solution dena hai right and those mainly like from geographical perspective right try to in need for more regulatory transparency like in us and eu 
EU, right? These two are considered as very strong pharma regulated and in terms of value as well. Okay. Then more spending on research and development by companies need for better integration of traditional and modern drugs practice. Ayush, Ayush along with the other practices. So you will find the penetration in terms of value because you know you must be knowing that Ayurveda, Yunani, ye, ye long term cure kar their diseases ko. Yeah. तो अगर इसको हम जैसे पतंजलि जैसे ब्रांड है या कुछ और अगर आ, लोकल आत्मनिर्भर भारत वाला केस है या वोकल फॉर लोकल होकर अगर इसको यूज करेंगे कीपिंग ऑल रेगुलेटरी नॉर्म्स एज वेल इन माइंड यू विल फाइंड वैल्यू जस्ट कुड बी अचीव तो इंडियन फार्मा नीड टू फोकस ऑन आयुष नीड टू फोकस ऑन एलोपैथिक रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट प्रॉपर रेगुलेशन एंड ट्रांसपेरेंट रेगुलेशन एज वेल देन रिड्यूस इम्पोर्ट एंड अचीव आत्मनिर्भर था एंड लाइक इन द कंक्लूजन या जस्ट लाइक से हैव सम ऑप्टिमिस्टिक 20 मार्कर आई होप कि आपको वॉल्यूम टू वैल्यू वाला जो स्ट्रक्चर है वो क्लियर हुआ होगा ओके देन दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ फ्लड्स एंड देयर मैनेजमेंट विद स्पेशल रेफरेंस टू इंडो गैंजेटिक प्लेन विद स्पेशल रेफरेंस टू इंडो गैंजेटिक प्लेन से 15 marks. Now question absolutely introduction. देखो सिंपल सा है कि पहले तो क्वेश्चन का कंटेक्स क्या है क्योंकि ट्वेंटी में नॉर्थ इंडिया में फ्लड आया था राइट हिमाचल में लैंड साइड ट्वेंटी नाइन लैंड साइड इवेंट्स आर देयर इवन नाउ सिक्किम में भी बेसिकली ग्लेशियर लेक आउट बस फ्लड हो रहा है या दैट इज वॉट प्रेडी मच कॉमन के बाकी जो भी फ्लडिंग्स वगैरह होते हैं तो स्टार्ट विद रिसेंट फ्लड इन हिमाचल एंड इंडो गैंडेडिक ब्लेड प्लेन एड डेटा देयर देन वॉट इज अबाउट द मेन बॉडी it why common annual flooding is observed in indo gangetic plain indo gangetic plain why it is very prone to so first start with the geographical reasons don't go for directly man made reason first look for geographical it may be ki yahan pe heavy rainfall hai perennial rivers hai heavy rainfalls hai hard rock topography of the himalayas hai right and then in the plain region soft rock topography hai. then human made causes encroachment on flood plain region okay say irregular urbanization and settlement patterns then high population density and poor level of preparedness yes to the jitne dimensions add kar sakte ho do it so why ig plain is prone to this is due to this thing. then problems of poor management how it then lead to problem okay it lead like due to dominant natural factor determinism then skewed man environment relationship that is now with the modern means of development that is now man environment relationship is getting skewed neo determinism there then poor disaster management governance and their structures and low level of awareness that people are not though they are having some cultural practices too but still they are not really aware about how to deal effectively like at least in some part of it right to with the flooding and and the end way forward so see critically examine the role of petroleum energy resources on international geopolitics with special reference to india the so question is now asking for ke how petroleum as a energy resource it impacts on geopolitics and that too with respect to india so see ab yahan pe karna kya hai ki india ko center mein rakh ke ki petroleum ne india ke geopolitical relations kaise impact kiye yes you have to write those thing uske liye pehle map bhi to aapko draw karna hi hai must hai so in introduction say you can start either with the oil shocks of respective years then read and either you can mention petro aggressions as well ki how this petro aggression or petro dollar economies are leading to like say a kind of oligarchy in nature and they are like leading to very influence on a geopolitical relation and not only this country sometimes in order to manage you have to have some geopolitical change as well so body what in the body role of petroleum resources in the geopolitical case see defines nature and trade relations absolutely trade relations kaise ho gaye india ke like say saudi arabia and those region you will find ke india ke trade relations petroleum se zyada strong hue 
and maybe like now Russia that is having now a sanction, right? So Russia से हम अब oil और petroleum ज़्यादा import कर रहे हैं. Now the relations are having some change. So direction and you know quantity volume of trade is absolutely impacted by direction of trade. Defining balance of trade, investment as well. Just like Saudi Arabia or the UAE has invented into the India strategic oil reserves. Yeah, absolutely. It then defines war and crisis, like uh, that Saddam crisis, right? Sorry, uh, Iran, uh, Iraq uh, war, right? That it leads to. Then trade routes, sea lines of communication are severely, right, defined by or influenced by this petroleum energy resources next okay and in the end yes you need to just mention about how it then leads to question 4a with falling 20 marker with falling fertility rate and rising median age how can india translate demographic dividend to economic dividend 20 marks so, question put like India, how can translate okay demographic dividend to economic dividend? However, pehla part a question ka with falling fertility rate and say uh, what rising median age. So first say introduction should be validating this fact. Yes, ke India may fertility rate decline or or median age increase. Ho hai. Yes, you have to the median age in India was 32 year 0. 0.4 in 2020 meaning half of the population was older than that of half younger this figure was lowest in 1970 at 17 years and was projected to increase 50 years old by 2100 india has the second largest population in the world after china so yes pehle humne question ka pehla part usse se start kar diya kyunki validate bhi karna second case then a, how can India translate demographic dividend to economy? Again, mention that demographic dividend India is experiencing, right? Are till 56%, okay, 58% of population is still in the working age group. And that is what advantage for us, demographic advantage, demographic dividend, demographic window. However, say how to transform it into economic dividend. Then, right, you have a graph on pass. Then how to achieve economic dividend like upgrading education standards education just do enrich your populace with education then investing in health to ensure universal health for all bridging skilling gap okay, covering or this gender gap in the economy then enhancing social capital structure and Federal approach to diverse trade. In a sense, you should promote local innovation. You should promote a regional way to achieve demographic dividend into economic dividend. Then, because region specific approaches are absolutely needed, aerial differentiation or regional geography. So, in the conclusion, then what efforts government has taken in this regard? Like the Pradhan Mantri Kaushal Vikas Yojana, Ayushyaman Bhava Scheme, okay, then say demography related skilling, hai, yeah, you will find say gender related beti bachao, beti padao, sex ratio enhancement wala case, hai, right, so all this you can mention there and simultaneously connect what just could be done further to bridge this gap between demographic dividend and economic dividend, fine, so that is what this is, then B. Poor quality of urban planning, topic urbanization in India is a huge constraint in realizing the two true economic potentials of urbanization critically examined. So, what question is actually asking for, say, look for, say, how it is leading to, say, this conversion, okay, the Poor quality of urban planning in India is a huge concern in realizing the true economic potential of urbanization critically examined. 15 marks. So, first, you have to tell that poor urban planning is there. 
एंड हाउ पुअर प्लानिंग इन अर्बन एरिया इज रिफ्लेक्टेड राइट यही है ना कि पहले वैलिडेट भी तो करना होगा कि देर इज ए पुअर प्लानिंग तो हाउ पुअर प्लानिंग इज विजिबल टू यू इंट्रोडक्शन मेन्शन How urban cities in India are grappling with the merits of myriads of problems, sorry, myriads of problems. As such, add data there. Is yes, you can say add data about uh, say heat urban urban heat island, yeah, urban flooding wala case hai. Yeah, you can write solid waste management wala. Yeah, whatever data you are having to prove that like urban areas in India are grappling with the lots of problems, and then so. How poor planning in urban area is visible? Keeping Indian examples, case studies must be there. Delhi, like in different domains, Mumbai, Kolkata, Chennai, Hyderabad, Pune, Lucknow, Kanpur. So different different domains ki case studies me add karni expected hai. I would say right because question is about the same. How poor planning is reflected? See population density, slums are growing. then solid waste management is pretty much poor then the issues of urban flooding then the issues of crimes and uh, uh, say uh, related activities over in the urban region metropolitan cities the traffic mismanagement there then you will find the gender and still caste related biases are still observed in and might be like to a greater extent unemployment is as well a problem in urban areas to so, ye yeah, पुअर प्लानिंग ही तो रिफ्लेक्ट कर रहा है वॉट एल्स इट इज रिफ्लेक्टिंग एज या पुअर प्लानिंग एज देन एज यू हैव वैलिडेटेड अब यहां पर सिर्फ लिखना नहीं है ओवर देयर यू नीड टू राइट मेन्शन केस स्टडीज एज वेल एटलीस्ट एक केस स्टडी इस केस में होनी ही चाहिए एंड देन अगेन पुअर प्लानिंग इज कंस्टेंट इन बिकॉज क्वेश्चन इज ऑलरेडी एज ऑलरेडी मैंशन इट इज कंस्टेंट इन optimum resource utilization it constraint in the sustainable development of cities it constraint in identification of your resources okay equitable distribution of your resources further right and then sustainable urbanization disaster resilient cities and ensuring human development dekho ye jo poor planning hai ye lead kar raha hai environmental pollution as well so that is constraint in environmental sustainability as well so how you Are supposed to improve your planning. So planning कैसे improve करना है अब यहां पर general नहीं geography specific answer चाहिए Then you need to rightly define the planning region. क्योंकि geography paper वन का knowledge use करो यहाँ पे growth pool, growth center, urban cities, urban definition, right? How to identify? Then identify the attribute. Those are their interplay between. Consider urban as a system and then understand like the all factors influencing them. smart ruler are at the base of right the smart urban areas smart cities yes so smart cities they cannot be developed in the isolation you have to keep a balance smart ruler and urban areas so community involvement must be there investment in green energy smart mobility by mental map behaviorism yes to so, jahan bhi geography ka basic knowledge use kar sakte ho do it yes because that is what is all about say geography optional paper 2 kyunki agar aapka paper 1 aur paper 1 to kya geography ka knowledge reflect hoga hi hoga but paper 2 jo ki general gs jaisa paper hai how you are going to make it a difference absolutely by using and various appropriate appropriate references to this geography queries and scholars then he highlight the salient features of india's trade policy Discuss the status of India's balance of trade with China. So introduction to pehle hi aaya trade policy and recently in 2023, say Minister of External Affairs has released Commerce Minister, sorry, say trade policy. What are the uh, say elements of this 2023 policy? Exports like to be two trillion by 2030. Process re-engineering and automation to be promoted. Town of export excellence are supposed to establish. Then recognition of exporter. promoting export from the district district export hub program then facilitating e-commerce exports and like amnesty schemes ye kuch points hai jo ki aap online bhi dekh sakte ho ya ye different uh, sub points hai okay or the highlights hai of ftp 2020 now question is what asking you for okay? the reason right india's deficit with china 
स्टेटस ऑफ इंडिया डिफिशियट विथ चाइना येस एब्सोल्युटली यू हैव टू एस्टैब्लिश दैट रिलेशन कि हाउ इंडिया एंड चाइना स्टेट डिफिशियट इज ए इंक्रीजिंग एंड दिस इज वॉट आई डेट स्पीक सिक्सटी फाइव बिलियन डॉलर चाइना इज अ कंट्री विथ वोम वी हैव the largest trade deficit okay so that way and then suggest some solutions for that matter we'll find okay this includes the whole of next section a we are done with i believe ki aapko section a wala jo part hai wo clear hua hoga ki kaun se question dealable hai right pehla question to deal karna hi karna hai and then like it's like the rest is what what area you are comfortable with then question 5 answer the following question then a identify the jute producing producing areas and discuss the major causes of decline of jute meal industry in india question is industry agriculture dono bhi theek hai agriculture as in you will find industry 13 industry 11 industries are being given so pehla to kya hai identify jute producing areas jute producing area so question is simply asking for and i would say ki yahan pe map hona bahut zyada important hai kyunki question hi puchta hai jute producing area without the help of map you won't able to say locate those or identify those areas so locate those areas first and then say discuss the major causes of decline of jute mill industry ab for that matter you have to first show this fact ki jute mills are declining in india right तो वहां पे नंबर ऐड कर सकते हो इफ यू आर हैविंग दैट डेटा राइट और एल्स यू कैन जनरली राइट द स्टेटमेंट हाउ एयर विद द करंट रेट नाउ द जूट मील्स इन इंडिया आर एट डिक्लाइन ड्यू टू और रीजन आर यू विल फाइंड रिड्यूसिंग प्रोडक्शन एंड रॉ मटेरियल सप्लाई वीबर्स मॉडल दैट टॉक्स अबाउट देन प्रॉब्लम ऑफ इंडस्ट्री लेवल लेबर इलेक्ट्रिसिटी क्लियर आंसर या इंडस्ट्रियल लोकेशन देन डिक्लाइनिंग मार्केट दैट डिमांड जूट then unsustainable competition from plastics yeah plastic and some replaceable materials to it plastic ne to waise bhi aapko pata hai ki jute ko bahut zyada replace kar diya hai aesthetic and all perspective parallel competitors you will find bangladesh vietnam and other southeast asian countries are equally they are like parallelly interacting okay the indian jute industry and lead to decline of it yeah in the conclusion then you need to write about What initiatives have been taken, or else, क्या ले सकते हैं आगे क्या करना चाहिए Like that is what you are the best way to conclude this particular answer. Then, urban second urbanization वाला question है. Urban built environment is sorry in big cities of India creates key changes in biophysical character of the landscape. Discuss. तो यहाँ पे अननोन टर्म है आई वुड से और आई आई बिलीव बायोफिजिकल लैंडस्केप कैरेक्टर तो बायोफिजिकल कैरेक्टर इट मींस व्हाट सिंपली दोज बायोफिजिकल कैरेक्टर और सिंपली दोज लाइक से टेम्परेचर प्रेशर लिविंग लाइफ मोड है या से डेंसिटी है या हाइड्रोग्राफी है रिलीफ क्लाइमेट अमॉन्ग अदर्स दोज आर ऑल बायोफिजिकल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स that combines with the biological and physical features as a whole are reflection of this thing so how urban built environment it has led to impact on biophysical character of so the right there how urban built environment lead to by means of deforestation yes by means of excessive construction example write karo wahan pe example write karo of respective city kyunki urban built environment bol raha hai right then pollution urban morphological changes that it leads to buildings lanes and all other construction then pollution repeat hai then resource exploitation say all this lead to a change in the biophysical characters of the urban city of the urban and what are the impacts at the, in the conclusion either you can write in a way ki how it lead to some say फेवरेबल बायोफिजिकल चेंजेस और हाउ वी कैन रिड्यूस दैट वे और एल्स ओके और एल्स वॉट एल्स लाइक वी कैन डू इट जस्ट टू सजेस्ट सम करेक्टिव मीन्स फॉर दैट मैटर राइट तो आई आई होप के आपको इस डिस्कशन से ये चीज समझ आ रही है राइट right? के क्वेश्चन को अप्रोच कैसे करना है 
इफ यस प्लीज डोंट फॉरगेट टू कमेंट इन दमेंट बॉक्स ये कैसे क्वेश्चन को अप्रोच किया जाता है पर्टिकुलरली फॉर ए यूपीएससी एग्जामिनेशन तो दिस वे देन एक्सप्लेन द जियोलॉजिकल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक एंड इकोलॉजिकल सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ द ईस्टर्न पार्ट आई वुड से दिस क्वेश्चन इज मेनली फ्रॉम फिजिकल सेटिंग वाला पार्ट कंटेम्प्रेरी इशू पार्टली तो क्वेश्चन पूछ रहा है ईस्टर्न घाट्स देर जियोलॉजिकल एंड इकोलॉजिकल कैरेक्टर्स तो ईस्टर्न घाट्स सी द ईस्टर्न घाट्स लाइक फर्स्ट इंट्रोडक्शन इंट्रोडक्शन में तो आई वुड से पहले ईस्टर्न घाट से स्टार्ट करो कि जो उसके जियोलॉजिकल और इकोलॉजिकल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स को एक्सप्लेन करने में हेल्प करेगा आपकी राइट सो मैप मस्ट बी देयर कीपिंग दो स्टेट्स एज वेल and like if you are having some information that will help you to connect with the right so geological characteristics like block mountains are there hard rock say charnocytes dissected mountain chain and rich mining reserve that it leads to however in terms of ecological case you will find rich biodiversity high carrying capacity that is variety of topography complex food chain and wave and high endemism and high endemism that it led to all this aspects yes so geological and ecological this both aspects of eastern ghat you need to i believe four and four points are more than enough right kyunki 10 marker question hai aap usse zyada time dena bhi nahi chahenge and like say just explaining along with the map absolutely fair enough to deal with okay and in the conclusion thus eastern ghat is one of the rich uh to physical topography or topographical features in the on the indian landmass then explain the cultural regions of india based on their cultural attributes cultural regions you will find say that is the cultural settings okay cultural settings unit 6 of paper 2 to wahan pe that class mein humne ye bahut se isme discuss kar liya aur ye wala question bhi as it is discuss kiya theek hai in introduction define like or start with the indian cultural region and then in the end main body write about there are 10 different cultural regions in india right keeping religion language customs and traditions like as a criteria so 10 hai the ladakhi buddhist cultural region the kashmiri muslim cultural region the sikh gurumukhi cultural region the kannauj devbhumi region hindu hindi region mixed cultural region bengali cultural region ट्राइबो हिंदू मराठी हिंदी एंड द्रविडो कल्चर रीजन राइट आई नो ये टेन है तो तो इट सीम्स के डिफिकल्ट होगा बट वॉट यू नो हार्डली टेन लोकेट करने आपको अलॉन्ग विद मैप डोंट फॉरगेट टू ड्रॉ मैप राइट एंड वन टू लाइन वन टू लाइन अबाउट ईच ऑफ दम मोर देन इनफ है टू गेट एवरेज मार्क्स और मोर देन एवरेज मार्केट फैक्ट या सो टेन कल्चरल रीजन ऑफ इंडिया देन वाई आर क्रिटिकल मिनरल्स essential for the economic development and national security in india why are critical minerals essential for the economic development and national security in india so the first you need to define what are critical minerals hai na question mein yahi to sabse pehle define karna hai which are those critical minerals and then in the main body how these critical minerals are very important for india pehle to critical minerals are like lithium beryllium titanium niobium tantalum zirconium and etc are having like getting so prominence like just like just like following the cultural determinism or maybe like say possibilism wala aspect and then because they are having use in space industry in rocket making in research and development in electronics yeah you will find like many of them they are having excessive exclusive use in electronics then the technology and communication energy sector lithium electrical batteries and critical in net zero emission commitment to india as well okay yes cheez agar hogi ultimately it would help you to reduce pollution and environmental footprints that's how again achievement of environmental security and national security as Six A twenty marker. See, a large number of Indian cities have a complex morphological characteristics due to their historical evolution. 
जैसे फॉर एग्जाम्पल गाइज यू मस्ट है जैसे कि आपकी भी जो सिटी होगी देखो अगर उसके मोर्फोलॉजी क्या होती है मोर्फोलॉजी दैट इट सिंपली मीन्स मोर्फोलॉजी इट मीन्स लाइक के हाउ से द डेवलपमेंट और द इंटरनल अरेंजमेंट ऑफ से ए सिटी लाइक द लेन्स दोज आर लेइंग बिल्डिंग्स ओवर देयर मार्केट्स ओवर देयर देयर इंटर रिलेशनशिप एंड पॉपुलेशन एंड देयर डेंसिटी राइट दैट रिलेशनशिप सोशल स्ट्रक्चर आज का तो आपने आपके भी सिटी में देखा होगा कि जैसे एक सेंटर प्लेस होगा सेंटर प्लेस से फिर कैसे रोड्स कनेक्ट हो रहे हैं किस वे तक कनेक्टिविटी है डिफरेंट डिफरेंट सेगमेंट्स ऑफ सोसाइटी अलग अलग रह रहे कास्टिज्म वाला केस रहेगा या सोसाइटी और भी कोई रिलीजियस वाला कंसिडरेशन रहेगा लैंड रेंट है या एग्रीकल्चर रेंट है या एग्रीकल्चर कनेक्टिविटी है रूरल अर्बन कंटिन्यूम तो दिस क्वेश्चन इज आस्किंग यू फॉर से शो और रिफ्लेक्ट हाउ इन इंडियन सिटीज से मॉर्फोलॉजी इज रिजल्ट नॉट ओनली ऑफ करंट टाइम इट इज रैदर इवोल्यूशन ऑफ हिस्ट्री एंड हिस्टोरिकल डेवलपमेंट कि जैसे हड़प्पा मोहन जो दाड़ो में जो सिटीज थी उनका मॉर्फोलॉजी कुछ अलग था और वो ही मॉर्फोलॉजी का कुछ इम्पैक्ट हुआ देन ड्यूरिंग द अशोका एंड लेटर फेज देन ड्यूरिंग द गुप्ताज एंड लेटर फेज देन ड्यूरिंग द सल्तनट एंड लेटर फेज देन ड्यूरिंग मेडावल इंडिया एंड देन लेटर इन ब्रिटिश टाइम एंड नाव इन द कंटेम्प्रेरी टाइम एज वेल देन यू नीड टू से कनेक्ट दोज पर्टिकुलर वे यू कैन हैव दोज एग्जाम्पल से फ्रॉम डिफरेंट सिटीज देन जैसे वो हड़प्पा मोहन जोदाड़ो उस टाइम में जो कुछ सिटीज थे आज तो खैर उतना है नहीं बट फिर भी जैसे कि वैशाली ले सकते हो आप पटना ड्यूरिंग टाइम ऑफ अशोका देन यू कैन हैव कन्नौज और कानपुर लाइक ड्यूरिंग द टाइम ऑफ गुप्ता डेली जो कि शाहजहानाबाद है मुगल उस टाइम में ले सकते हो या देन ब्रिटिश के टाइम में डेली एंड कोलकाता एंड देन नाउ इन द मॉडर्न टाइम डेली मुंबई कोलकाता चेन्नई यस यू विल फाइन के आपके पास इस सब चीज के लिए बहुत है या कोई रिलीजियस सिटी ले सकते हो बनारस लाइक सिंस एज ओल्ड सिटी एंड हाउ दिस डेवलपमेंट ऑफ मॉर्फोलॉजिकल स्ट्रक्चर्स ऑफ बनारस आर वर्ड हैविंग और देयर इन्फ्लुएंस ऑन दिस डेवलपमेंट ऑफ हिस्टोरिकल चेंजेस जैसे हिस्ट्री कैसे कैसे चेंज हुई और अकॉर्डिंगली कैसे स्ट्रक्चर चेंज हुआ कि पहले मान लो के जस्ट लाइक वेन देर वॉज लाइक ए डोमिनंस ऑफ हिंदू रिलीजन तो उस टाइम उस टाइम में क्या होता था सेंटर हुआ करता था फॉर एग्जाम्पल दी टेम्पल राइट हाउ एर विद दल्तन रूलर और मे बी लाइक से मुस्लिम लीडर्स यूल फाइंड कि फिर मॉस्क वाला सेंटर प्लेस होने लग गया समझ रहे हो कैसे मॉर्फोलॉजी चेंज हो रही है सिटी की या दैट इज वॉट क्वेश्चन इज आस्किंग यू फॉर सो टेकिंग डिफरेंट एग्जाम्पल यू नीड टू मैंशन दो थिंग ओके एंड एट दी एंड कंक्लूड इट एज सिंपल एंड डिस्कस द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग फॉर सस्टेनेबल एग्रीकल्चर डेवलपमेंट इन इंडिया फिफ्टीन मार्क्स तो क्वेश्चन इज सिंपली आस्किंग फॉर ए दिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग फॉर सस्टेनेबल एग्रीकल्चर डेवलपमेंट इंडिया अब यहां पर करना क्या है आई वुड से ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग डिफाइन करना बहुत नेव इंट्रोडक्शन रहेगा या बहुत नेव क्यों क्योंकि ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग को कैसे डिफाइन करोगे ना मतलब वो तो बहुत ही ईजी इंट्रोडक्शन है इट्स बेटर रैदर कि इंडिया में ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग का से एरिया कैसे इंक्रीज हो रहा है या उसका जो यू नो पैशन है वो इंक्रीज कैसे हो रहा है सो एज ऑफ लाइक हैविंग सम डेटा यू विल फाइंड लाइक 3.67 मिलियन हेक्टेयर्स ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग एरिया इन इंडिया विद मध्य प्रदेश दॉप मोस्ट स्टेट राइट फॉलोड बाय सम अदर स्टेट सो दिस वे एंड देन वट आर द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग टू ब्रिंग सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट राइट तो ये क्या कर रहा है देखो इकोलॉजिकल अप्रोच है ये एब्सोल्यूटली इकोलॉजिकल अप्रोच है इट बिलीव इन नो एडिटिव आर टू बी यूज इट बिलीव इन सेम रिसोर्स री यूज राइट सो दैट वे इट इंक्रीज द कैरिंग कैपेसिटी ऑफ द लैंड एंड एनरिचमेंट ऑफ दिस सॉइल इट बिलीव फर्दर इन राइट कीपिंग लो इन्वेस्टमेंट रिक्वायरमेंट दैट इज वॉट आर फार्मर्स आर एक्चुअली लुकिंग फॉर जस्ट टू इंक्रीज फार्मर्स इनकम साइमल्टेनियसली इट बिलीव इन वन हेल्थ अप्रोच वन हेल्थ अप्रोच मतलब क्या है इसे इट्स नॉट ओनली अबाउट ह्यूमन इट्स अबाउट ह्यूमन and all other uh, say elements biotic elements as well you have to consider they are like integrated system so one health approach organic farming mein implement hota hai in demand in market and improved productivity so all these factors lead to agricultural development in india and then in conclusion what government do way mein ho sakta hai so what government initiatives have been taken like paramparagat krishi vikas yojana organic farming और ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग सर्टिफिकेशन बाय एपेडा 
or you can li write in like say what government could do further right can do further in order to improve the prospect of organic farming yeah so that is the way see examine geopolitical impact a bilateral relationship between Indian and Sri Lanka. Yeah? India and Sri Lanka. Q why context is when Indian uh, sorry Sri Lankan Prime Minister was on like uh, like he was on visit to India. See, that time there was a demand from Tamil Nadu and like uh, that uh, southern state like we should again retract Kachatiyu Island from Sri Lanka, which was lay, uh, which was handed over to Sri Lanka in the 1974 itself. So, unki demand thi ki fir se leo, India and Sri Lanka ke beech mein fishing and related problem bahut zada controversial hai. Right? So, ab yahan pe kya karna hai? Introduction. Mention India Sri Lanka relationship as one of the oldest in Indian Ocean region. Or like started like in a way ki India Sri Lanka ye bahut zada traditional partners hai. Yeah. They have shared the pages of history. And thus, what we have to signify, ki humara answer se ya introduction se samaj aana chahiye ki what he is going to uh, read further. Yeah? So, in body, impact of India-Sri Lanka relationship, kya hota hai? India-Sri Lanka relationship basically sirip trade se related nahi hai. Yeah? You will find that it is about trade, it is about economics, it is about culture, it is about geopolitics, it is about in the UN, in other bodies as well. It is not only about this, it will as well have strategic impact, Indian Ocean region as a whole that it led to impact on, on two nations and societies. Economic connect, trade and tourism, global coordination. All these are they both form a part of Rimland theory, yeah, Rimland region. So connect with the geographical knowledge again, and in the conclusion, like changing landscape of this relationship. In a sense, okay, that China is now the third party that is trying to enter into the these two domain simultaneously. Some mistress, some fishing issues, okay, fishermen's issue. You will find those are ranging over in between India and Sri Lanka. So, this Usi note pe aapko isko continue karna. Draw this map and just don't merely draw a map. Try to add some value into the map. Then, 7th A, 20 markers. Go through this question, guys. Discuss green energy initiatives of India as signatory nation to the paris agreement see question is not asking you for in general green energy initiatives of india other question hota to hum like say since like 20 uh, sorry 1950s hum jo jo humne green initiatives liye hai wo write karte forest development national forest policy ye sab kuch cheez hai ab yaar question is so specific about that the role or initiatives taken by India as being a signatory nation to the Paris Agreement. It means that though 2015 COP21 Paris deal or agreement, uske baad jo green energy initiatives liye, just because we have committed ourselves to the Paris deal, mention those initiatives there and like in further detail. It is not just merely asking you for. So, first, a like green energy you can start with or you can start in other way with the Paris deal. Paris deal and India committed this much of climate target existing and new, right? So, green energy is a term that comes from renewable energy sources. Green energy is often referred to as clean, sustainable or renewable energy. Some important are solar, wind, geothermal biogas, low impact hydroelectricity and those things. So, LA, what are the commitments given by India to the Paris Agreement? Yeah. You need to write that, right? This commitment and then say initiatives taken, production linked incentive schemes. Then Prime Minister Kusum Yojana, okay, Pradhan Mantri Kisan Urja Suraksha Evan Uthan Yojana for solar pumps, uh, water exploration. Then Pradhan Mantri Sahaj Bijli Har Ghar Yojana, Pabhagya scheme. Green Energy Corridor, that is very flagship program of green initiative in India. Then National Smart Grid Mission and Smart Mission National Program. FAME program for hybrid and electric vehicles. Then International Solar Alliance. See, these are various initiatives. And here you can add G20 wala add kar sakte ho. 
ग्लोबल बायोफ्यूल अलायंस ग्लोबल बायोफ्यूल अलायंस ठीक दीज आर ऑल दो इनिशिएटिव टेकन बाय राइट एज बींग ए सिग्नेटरी नेशन टू दी पैरिस डील देन इन कंक्लूजन वॉट एल्स वी कैन डू टू अचीव दैट पर्टिकुलर टारगेट राइट ये कर सकते हो देन सेवेंथ बी इंडिया पोल्ट्री सेक्टर हैज बिकेम वन ऑफ द फास्टेस्ट ग्रोइंग एरियाज ऑफ द कंट्रीज एग्रीकल्चर सेक्टर examine its opportunities and challenges you will find this in agriculture unit 3 paper 2 question is about poultry sector right so pehle likho has become one of the fastest growing to prove karna padega introduction mein so how poultry industry say is growing like normal agriculture is having growth rate of 3 to 4% however poultry rate that is given on apeda side 8 to 10% is what the growth rate of poultry industry and that is absolutely you know appreciated because india ke normal gdp growth rate se zyada growth rate hai so obvious hai having lots of potential it seems then in main body the agriculture sector examining the opportunities and challenges do cheeze puchiye opportunities and challenges so what are the opportunities that it has or as a poultry sector you will find it has like first opportunities like in the sense a okay, that per capita income that would be say increase because government is committed to double farmers income then increase in demand due to health conscious diet yeah health conscious diet se ab iska demand bhi badh gaya poultry and eggs wala in cooperation in government project mid day meal scheme in many mid day meal scheme diet you will find eggs have been added then say declining prices of poultry product yeah reason specific and large untapped market is still visible like on the landscape This poultry, as such, okay, or again, food processing industry has made that prospect further more visible. Food processing industry, new technologies like cold storage, hai, ya kuch aur hai. So, jisse kya hoga? Cold storage jaisa, so that you can store this poultry product for a long, and you can use it further. Yeah, even the leftover material of the poultry product you can use for biofuel and other aspect. Yeah, these are all opportunities of the poultry sector industry. However, what are the challenges? चैलेंजेस मतलब ये है यूल फाइंड से वीगन कल्चर दैट इज एट राइज एज वेल राइट अभी भी अनटैप मार्केट है बट वीगन कल्चर का भी से डेवलपमेंट या जो ग्रोथ है वो भी एक सिग्निफिकेंट है रेगुलर एंड से कल्चरल नॉर्म्स रिलीजियस एंड कल्चरल जैसे इन द मंथ ऑफ श्रावण यू विल फाइंड से इन मोस्ट ऑफ इंडिया यू विल फाइंड नो और वेरी रेयर कंजम्पन ऑफ दी वेजी सॉरी नॉन वेजिटेरियन डाइट राइट ये वाला केस है तो देन चिकन डिसीजेस बर्ड फ्लू वाला केस है जैसे सुना था हमने सो दैट टाइम यू फाइंड की पोल्ट्री इंडस्ट्री हैज लूज सिग्निफिकेंट मार्केट शेयर एज वेल देन यूज ऑफ बाय प्रोडक्ट ऑफ द इंडस्ट्री दे रिमेन सम हाउ एंड टैप देन ग्रीन हाउस गैस इमीटर इंडस्ट्री इट जस्ट ड्यू टू इट्स बायोमास डीलिंग एंड दैट सम हाउ रिमेन्स अनप्रोसेस इट लीड्स टू और इट इमेट ग्रीन हाउस गैसेस पी एच फोर एंड अदर एंड Yeah, that is again a challenge that this industry is facing. With in conclusion, what do we have to mention? Various way forward and initiative. Then, we critically examine the ecological and economic impact of Indira Gandhi Command Area Development Program. Class, we have already discussed this. Uh, basically, because this question is one of the most predictable questions. Question is regional development and planning. ठीक है इन क्वेश्चन इंट्रोडक्शन क्या होगा वेरी यूजुअल इंदिरा गांधी कैनाल वेर इट इज फ्रॉम लाइक इट इज बेसिकली से पराका सॉरी हरी के बैरेज इन पंजाब एंड दैट इज एक्सटेंड अप टू जैसलमेर डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ राजस्थान दट इज ऑलमोस्ट स्टेज फॉर हाउ मच किलोमीटर लाइक नाइन थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड सिक्सटी किलोमीटर एंड इट सर्व द इरीगेशन नीड्स ऑफ द टोटल कल्चर एबल कमांड एरिया ऑफ नाइनटीन मिलियन हेक्टेयर so what do you have to then it asking a question is asking you for map to pretty much needed there ecological and economic impact so ecological what are the ecological impacts of you will find there are positive as well as negative impacts of them so positive impacts are what like the positive impact on ecology that it helps for increasing carrying capacity 
it helps for increasing the biodiversity it helps for improving the agriculture production okay and that way however negative impacts are like it say somehow against the agro climatic pattern uh, 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 say pattern yeah wheat cultivation yeah wo wale ki yeah rice cultivation even you if you observe in the command area development of indira gandhi canal or else you will find some exotic species have been entered or invaded into to jo kya karenge endemic species ko threat create karenge yeah so ecological somehow in the region it has well impacted on the overall soil structure and the ground water topography for the yeah that way then economic is economic mein to fir kya hai uh, say agriculture production bad gaya livelihood employment opportunities industrial development okay that offers it However, in negative or unfavorable initiative economic consequences are like it leads to lots of okay lots of economic investment. Then it it has uh, you know a problem that is related with the say some economic aspect of leakage or some that problem that is the canal is facing with right. So, just me, then it's me maintenance cost very much more and that way though limited but still to that and in the way forward right how to promote positive impacts and minimize. Negative impact. That is the aspect of possibilism as well. ठीक है? तो possibilism connect करो, near determinism connect करो, done. Then the uh, like eight question now. The last uh, uh, the broad question, जिसमें तीन questions रहेंगे. So last one. Eight A. Why India lags behind many other countries in agriculture productivity? Suggest suitable measures to raise productivity. Across the regions in sustainable manner. Question is asking you for that is you know a universal truth or fact that India is having poor productivity. So question is asking you for right why there is poor productivity. Now connect it with the different philosophies of geography. Connect it with this right determinism, possibilism. Se connect कर सकते हो new determinism से connect कर सकते हो cultural determinism से connect कर सकते हो there. So first prove this fact that India is having poor productivity to so, likhna bhi padega prove bhi karna padega you should have facts for this case right in majid hussain sir's book you will find that productivity or that map is given like for example in like 2.4 tons per hectare is what lies in india productivity 27th place out of 47 countries china and brazil have 4.7 tons per hectare and for wheat India's productivity is 3.15 tons per hectare, 19th in the world. So, in terms of productivity, India lags behind many countries. And the thing is, we have to look on it, right? We have to look over it. Like, say, how this low productivity or why this low productivity is. So, like low productivity, Q has there are ample reasons. You will find the first small and मार्जिनल लैंड होल्डिंग है फ्रेगमेंटेड लैंड होल्डिंग है लैंड रिफॉर्म्स इंप्लीमेंटेड नहीं है देन यू फॉर ओवर डिपेंडेंसी ऑन क्लाइमेट डिटर्मिनिज्म क्लाइमेटिक वेरिएबिलिटी मॉनसून वेरिएबिलिटी 2023 इटसेल्फ राइट देन यू विल फाइंड द द डिजास्टर दैट इट लीड्स टू पुअर टेक्नोलॉजी पुअर मैकेनाइजेशन देन मार्केट रिलेटेड हर्डल्स है देन यू विल फाइंड से स्टोरेज एंड रिलेटेड पोस्ट हार्वेस्ट लॉसेस आर देयर 1 लाख है rupees loss you will find of the agriculture as in post harvest and you will find see many other reasons as well transportation connected with the marketing related issues a apmc reforms wala case hai you will find all this lead to okay say the case as because unless and until the farmer is not getting enough price in the market he is not ready to improve productivity of his subsistence type of farming that he is looking for yeah so then how to improve productivity yes question is asking for how to improve see first ensure land reforms those were pending since 50s now we have this is a right time to improve and like swabhiman scheme is just to digitize all land records mention this scheme then agro climatic cropping pattern must be there geographical knowledge hona hi chahiye so agro climatic cropping pattern must be you need to followed over in the region then like promote scientific resource optimization drip irrigation and a sprinkler irrigation is optimum resource of use organic farming and conservation of agriculture conservation agriculture improve mechanization of agriculture use of tractors use of machines use of startup india and stand up india would help you for this matter 
then better storage means then transportation efficiency and less loss of reduction gati shakti scheme marketing and and the processed food that further help you to enhance your productivity because ultimately if farmer is getting more in return he is rather ready to invest more in agriculture and if that is the case we will find so ultimately right then assess the eco tourism potential of andaman and nicobar lakshadweep islands and highlight first demand hai and challenges associated with the sustainable development of island territories regional development and uh, of island territories development and planning wo wala topic hai so introduction see see like this is what given in the uh, andaman nicobar uh, authority theek hai unhi ke document hai yahan pe eco tourism kaise promote karna hai believe ye question wahi se frame kiya hoga okay so this question like hg champion what he talks about if tropical rainforests are to be seen in their pristine glory anywhere in the world it is in the andamans see you can start with this kind of quote aapka answer zyada appreciable hoga yeah that evaluator is really appreciating than this case then body explain eco tourism in short and eco tourism potential of andaman and nicobar right it just because there is a huge biodiversity so eco tourism potential rahega a natural aesthetic beauty cultural diversity variety of climatic condition 70% of the land is forested and say it is having eight different eco tourism reserves right eight different eco tourism reserves there biosphere reserve wildlife sanctuary national parks you will find say but what are the challenges in eco tourism promotion that say this ecosystem is highly fragile even if you are trying to promote eco tourism but the tolerance level of ecosystem is pretty much low then will find poor carrying capacity or declining carrying capacity excessive interference led by say outsider even if eco tourism is promote so low level of awareness that made this thing problematic island topography and its limitations yeah limitations of area culturally isolated tribes and vulnerability of them then geographical isolation geo strategic vulnerability and resource richness of the region it all matters it all creates okay that there are lots of challenges for eco tourism development in andaman and nicobar lakshadweep as well so what should be the way forward then promote local means of aware people about eco tourism and develop such a infrastructure those are keeping like or those are in synchronization with the eco tourism principle of like sustainable tourism so yeah way forward you have to write in this way and the last last question of the paper describe the regional variations of the health indicators among the indian state i hope guys you are getting jo bhi humne abhi tak discuss kiya hai you all are like say uh, like watching it till the end and in fact going through this particular stage as well okay ye bhi dekhoge aur agar kuch bhi doubt ho just feel free to ask me in the comment box as well so describe the regional variations of health indicator among indian states you will find regional development and planning cultural settings dono se bhi hai so introduction see ab ye question hai regional variation so it's good to start with the data and connect it with the this thing you can start with the welfareism and connect with the health indicator welfare wm smith wali concept hai who gets what where and how or else start with the data fact and this way so both are equally appreciable theek hai then in the main body what see describe the regional variation write about how the regional variation in like various health indicators like mmr imr okay or maybe sex ratio or maybe life expectancy india mein special variations kaise hai south mein kaise hai north mein kaise hai different country states mein kaise hai that you need to show there then you need to write the reason for the special variation it just because there are like geographical disparity or uh, political structure topographical climate okay that way biological factors example ki kuch species and race ka jo changes hai then cultural variation and different stages of demographic transition and difference in health governance ha yeah? difference in health governance you will find that lead to then majors you need to have some region specific approach aerial differentiation that would come at your rescue for this matter so promote like region specific health assessment promoting Uh, uh say traditional and local and more adaptive drug practices like ayush developing low cost affordable medicines value okay cultural understanding and 
say including behaviorism say and other aspect of health governance that you have to focus on jo aapko ultimately ye jo regional or special disparity hai in health indicators in india you will find just could be say neutralize them or try to like say minimize at least on that count so i hope guys you are having say this clarity like pretty much clarity over how say this paper 2023 is supposed to approach and i hope that whatever we have discussed jo humne discuss kiya hai ye discussion aapko help kiya hoga ki question ko approach kaise karna hai dekho maine session ke start mein bhi bataya tha aapko that the main okay the, the target for today is to what provide you approach how to address this particular question right to so, yahan par fir humne yahi kiya hai i tried my best i took say effort for this matter as well right ki maine introduction main body conclusion and those are all created point on my own okay on my own hai you will find ki wo sub points create kiye and accordingly you will find many questions were already discussed in the class so you will find if you like would like to join this sessions if you would like to join further right and if you really like you can uh, contact to the yojana is and if you uh, have any doubt right you can have comment in the comment box okay so thank you guys i wish you all the best okay for all your future endeavors and keep yes keep geographical geographical study alive okay so wishing you all the best thank you and please like share and subscribe to the video thank you guys Thank you.